So we're going to look at the title first primary one. We have got s, e, n, n and g together make n, s, e, n, e, n. Oh, look at this, boys and girls. Can you see this? We've got ng and ng. The word is repeating here. Sing, ng, singing, singing, d, ad, dad. Singing dad. Do any of you boys and girls have a dad that likes to sing? <laughs> Look at the children's faces. Do you think they're impressed? Let's have a look. <clears throat> dad is a sing air singer. Remember the ng mm sign goes together. Dad is, now this word here is now it's it and s but you don't hear it as a s it's a p1 tricky word it gets a z sound is a singer dad is a singer do you guys know what these are called these are musical notes h e he s E -ings, sings. Now this is a tricky word because the a ah gets an o oh sound. O l all d e. -e. Now the a ah and the ye go together. That's when two vowels go walking. The first one does the talking. So d e -e, d e l o -oh, n. -ing long he sings all day long s o ng song after after s o ng song so we've got song after song oh i see something going on here can you notice that boys and girls they're repeating this part again. After song, after song. So song, after song, after song, after song. He, 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 he sings, sings. Now it's not to all, it's a tricky word because the all gets an u sound. To, P1 tricky word, the, kit, cat, and, and, he, he, he sings to the dog, dog. He sings to the cat and he sings to the dog. He, he he sings in the sun sun now there's no full stop there so our sentence is not complete yet he sings in the sun and he s sings in the fog full stop how many words are in that sentence one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow, that's a big one. Let's see how many is in this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Both sentences have eleven words. He sings in the shops shops and he sings in the shed shed you'll start to see these boys and girls it's repeating so sh by now you should be remembering that you've already decoded that quite a number of times at the beginning of the book okay and the word sings as well and words like tricky word the, we should not be decoding that. We should be quickly recognizing and recalling that. 
so that we can start to begin to read with fluency. He sings in the bus, bus and he sings in his bed, bed. Now, these words like bed and bus, that's okay to decode them initially when you're first learning the book. But as the week goes on, we should not be decoding these sorts of words, these CVC words, okay? You should be able to blend them quite quickly in your head and read it out loud. He sings when... Now, what and who go together with a wh, 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 n, when... He's fish -ing. fish -ing. fishing. Now that's showing that it, it's he, it's him that's doing the fishing. He sings when he's fishing. He sings when he jogs, jogs. He sings when he jogs. Mrs. Blair can't sing when she jogs. She's not got any um, breath left to do that. She needs all her energy just to focus on running, going forward and not stopping. Can you guys sing when you run? He sings when, there's that word again. We just saw another page. When, when he's, oh, we've got a double sound here. D, I, G, I. Mm, digging, digging, and ch -op -e -ng, chopping. We've got double p, and we've got a when k and t come together, they make a new sound of ch. So that's a digraph. So we don't say k h, we say ch, ch o chop ing, up logs, logs, and chopping up logs. I wonder if there's a point in the day that dad doesn't sing. Mm. Mom tells, tells dad off. Mom tells dad off. I'm, now that's an apostrophe there. That's because this word here, the if and the m, I'm, that's short for I am. The apostrophe is contracted two words to make them into one new word. So I and am, taking out the a off of am and put them together as I'm fed, fed up with, 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 at, that song, song. I'm fed up with that song. Mum never, never sings. Now look at that. Can you see that the writing looks slightly slanted in a kind of different form? It's in italics there. S slightly slanted to the sing at uh, the side. So it's basically saying mum never sings. It's trying to emphasize there that mum doesn't sing. But she, so we've got sh and e, she, h, ums, hums, all, that's that, ah, gets an all sound, all, d, a, d, l, ong, long. Oh dear, what's worse, singing all day or humming all day? I think the humming would probably annoy me a little bit more than the singing. What do you think, boys and girls? Which one would annoy you? Or would you like to hear both of them all day? Okay, boys and girls, um, if you can read your reading books and record yourself reading to Mrs Blair and send it to me. And also, if you look out on the post, because there, might, there will be tasks um, posted for you to complete.